Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and today we're going to start our holiday decorating. Okay, what you see here is a set of three little artificial Christmas trees we bought while we were in Arizona and I have two of these snowmen and they all have lights attached now the snowmen work but as I'm going to show you only one of my Christmas trees light up and that's this one and the problem with that is is they're all joined so what I've decided to do oh and parts of the stands are missing I don't know how well you can see this but I took a craft popsicle stick and just hot glued it in the place. Having three little trees all joined is a, by one set of lights is a pain in the butt. A, you can't always place them where you want to. And B, if, if one problem goes with one light, the rest of them in, in the series won't work. So, we've unplugged our light. That's very important. And what I've done is I've gone through my Christmas decorations and I found three small sets of mini lights that I think will do the job. And I am just now, don't make, always double check, make sure your cord's unplugged, folks. And I'm just going to cut these right off these trees. Starters, they're now separate. Sometimes you can just go ahead and go through the lights and find a loose wire. Or a, or a broken light or a missing light and that will be the only problem you just have to tighten it up or replace a bulb but I've been through all this and I could not find it for the life of me so now that I've separated these lights I'm gonna take all these lights off these trees and then we'll be back one of the things that upsets me the most is <clears throat> that we have been led down the path to live in a disposable frame of mind now, these were really cheap, but my point is, is <clears throat> we live in such a disposable society that these lights are not meant to last very long. Like I said, if one over here broke down, which it did and I couldn't find the problem, then the rest are no good. But they've also gone a step further and literally tied I've had to cut these lights and I don't know how many places but they've literally tied them to the trees in such a way that it has taken me 15 minutes just to get this far on one tree now what they're banking on folks is that this item was so cheap that I'm just gonna go back and buy another one well, that's not how I do things. I'm a real stubborn person. I only spent $10 on this whole set. And I've used it two years. But it's so annoying that they make such crappy lights. And yet they make them almost impossible to remove. I am not going to throw these away. It's a window display, so it's not like I'm putting presents under them or anything else. These are old lights, folks. I've probably had these lights for about 10 years. But guess what? They work. So why would I buy new? Okay, they do work. Yay! Okay, so when I get my trees all denuded of the bad lights and new ones, we will be back to set up our display. Okay, so we did have three trees. My popsicle sticks didn't work. They just broke right off. So we decided to go with two trees and one snowman because that would be better balance anyway. And Papa dug the glue where I had glued the popsicle sticks in. He dug it out and we took the two legs that were left on this one and made, put them on this stand, on these stands. Okay, here's our bay window and we have some Christmas lights in here and what we've done is there used to be there well there's a light socket in here and in there we have one of those little socket things that you screw in and it becomes a plug that goes down there 
and behind the curtain and it is plugged in and we have another extension cord behind the curtain and all that is hooked up to a light switch. What I've done is I've taken an old white pillowcase, an old white flannel pillowcase, and I've snipped a hole in one side and I've just gone to the back. I did this on the other side and we're just going to put our tree just so we hide the stand. All right, these are all plugged into that extension cord that I showed you. Okay, Papa, throw the switch. Ooh. Ah, that looks nice. We'll take a picture of it when it's darker out. Isn't that lovely? This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, you don't need a big space to make a nice holiday splash. Take care. Bye-bye.